Sheena Shea and Brock Davies are here from Vanderpump Rules, Thursdays at 8 on Bravo. Shylon and Chase are uh, on tour with the Chippendales. Uh, you can see them at the Rio in Las Vegas and on tour in Atlantic City, July 18th through 21st. Let's go back to our virtual uh, fans. Leslie from Nebraska, what's your question for Sheena Shea? Hi, Leslie. Hi there. Brock, loving you this season. No nonsense. <laughs> um, Sheena, what do you make of the fact that Kristen's boyfriend, Luke, has no interest in moving to Los Angeles and do you think they make a good match? I do think they make a good match. And I think eventually they're probably going to both move out of L.A. and somewhere else to raise a family. And I think that would be great for them. Really? Mm -hmm. So you think they're going to go the distance? I do. I do. Yeah. Oh. You too, Brock? Uh, I mean, he's... <laughs> I hope so, you know? <laughs> Kristen's a lot, but, like, if Luke can handle it and he's been around for a minute, then I, I wish them luck. Kristen's <laughs> a lot. And if Luke can handle it for more than a minute... Hey, I'm a lot, okay. too, okay? And I, I can you're handle still it. here, so... What did you do with all those big photos from your former wedding? You know what's funny is the 27s have one hanging up in their apartment. Really? <laughs> Here's Liz and Angela from Wisconsin with a question for Brock. Hey, ladies. Hi. Hi, Andy, Sheena, and Brock. Hi. Thanks for sharing Ben, Lucy, and Summer Moon with us. They uh -huh. are adorable. Well, you're welcome. Brock. Yeah. More to come. Brock. Looking back, do you feel like you weren't there for Sheena and Tahoe as much as you could have been? Yeah, I definitely should have played 18 holes of golf and <laughs> kept at nine. Um, I think, yeah. I mean, it's always golf. <laughs> of course I should have been there. I, for me, I really wanted, to, if you see the season, just force people to have uncomfortable conversations because I have to sit here and listen to everyone like walk on eggshells. So how about have a conversation, please? And it does lead to growth. When he pushes me, I feel like... I come out a stronger person. Speaking of, have you found a nanny you love so you can uh, get out way more? Yes, we do. And summer also starts preschool this summer. Yeah, so. can I tell you, that was that was the saving grace. Like, my kid is going to have a schedule. <laughs> and she's going to be at school three times a week. And we got into an amazing school. So a nanny, we're not, not, not the big focus now. So I'm happy. Yeah. Reality Von Sneeze on oh, Twitter, yeah. very funny. A little too close. <laughs> uh, said, did you know Schwartz and Joe were as serious as she says in exchanging I love yous? No, because he denied that so much to me. Yeah, I could see him saying it behind the doors and then obviously he puts himself in that situation when they're in a public eye. He's like, no, 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 and diminishing their relationship, yeah. which is why I called him out all season about it. Mm -hmm. uh, Brock Tyler C wants to know if you agree with Lala's sentiment that Katie can't expect loyalty from her when she just hooked up with her ex-husband's best friend. Uh, this goes back to this my relationship with Katie. I feel like Katie is, understands who she is, is as a woman, so it's very difficult to kind of understand her perspective because... It's just her first. And so with Lala, yeah, I understand where Lala comes from on that. All right, there you go. We're going to leave it there. I love your shoes. Uh, thanks, virtual fans. Thanks, Shylon and Chase. Thanks, Sheena and Brock. For more, check around BravoTV.com. Good night, everybody.